Hi everybody. So this is probably going to be one of the most important videos um, that I film that I wanted to share a message for everybody watching. Um, and so bear with me where there's some gaps and pauses because it, it, it's important for me to be able to articulate authentically without like a big long script and things like that. And I've been meaning to do this for probably, well I've wanted to do it for a month, probably even longer, but I was still putting some of the pieces together in my mind about how I wanted to explain it. So it's really around the language that's used when we come to talk about people that are now, I was even going to say it there, people who are battling with cancer. So when you look at the language that's used um, when talking about people who are going through it um, and some of the words of encouragement and messages that I've received as somebody that's going through this cancer journey, the language used is very, it's um, very military driven. So people talk about the cancer battle, um, you'll, you'll beat this, you'll, you'll kick this into submission, um, you'll, you know, you're, so beat, you will beat this, you will fight it, fight, survivor, e even once people have deemed to have come through the other end, they're called a cancer survivor, which sounds like it's you know, a battle. And so there's a couple of layers to this. On a cellular level, micro level, cellular based, it is a battle. But that is happening with no conscious thought or direction from us because it happens automatically because it's built into our DNA over thousands of years worth of um, evolution and our bodies can't battle it on their own just now. We have to take drugs. Well, the research, the current research states that we have to take drugs to beat it. Um, so at a cellular level, the drugs that we take that have been signed off by medical science do kill and they do destroy and it is a battle at a cellular micro level but at a macro level physically consciously where I choose and I have control and on an emotional mental and spiritual level it is not a battle and it's important for me to ex kind of explain why that is. I cannot consciously beat cancer into submission. Um, if I could, I would, but while my body at a cellular level is battling it, and hopefully killing it with support from medical science and drugs. On a conscious macro level for me, because my cells are working so hard um, to clear the crap after the battle's been happening at a cellular level um, and dealing with the side effects, I physically don't have the energy to fight more than just survive um, the drugs and the side effects and the waste product that comes from those cellular battles. So I consciously can't beat it into submission. I have to just accept and be happy to just be and to try and give my body 
mind, the rest that it needs. You can't battle and rest at the same time. Um, so I've had to consciously choose, well, at a micro cellular level, my body's going through a battle. At a macro holistic here, I need to give it space and just be and be present and help it by making smart choices, um, not forcing it and beasting it and um, burying myself like I would in a cycling race or a judo fight or in the preparation for those. So that was the first bit. Consciously, it's not a battle to me. Um, what it is, is three different things. The first is, it's a message. Um, and thanks to my mum for the analogy and probably for helping me sort through this in my head from a conversation that we had, I think maybe three months ago, um, my mum said the way she, that she views illness and disease is like a warning light. It's a it's a message, it's a signal that something isn't right. Just like in your car, um, when your oil's low or something's overheating or you need um, your windscreen washer topped up. I don't know if you get a light on some cars for that maybe, but something isn't right in your car, you get a signal or a warning light and you cannot pass your MOT until those lights are gone so that it's deemed roadworthy and safe. Illness and disease, to me, thank you mum, is a message that something's not quite right. And it might be something very simple physically, like you drink like a fish, as in alcohol, or you eat too much processed sugary foods, or you smoke, and that's easy. Um, but it might also be things related to stress, um, emotional distress, um, or maybe, you know, there's there's been some research done on if you're not in the right, if you're not on the right path in your life and you're not living to your true self, your true self, that can also, from a spiritual point of view, impact your cellular systems through emotions because your emotions and your cells are connected and through time if you spend maybe years not on the right path that can result in a manifestation of illness and disease so it's a message that something's not quite right and for me it was it's probably been less likely to do with um physical conscious choices that I've made about exercise, um, oxygen, spending time in nature and so on, and food up to a point, although I probably eat more processed food than I realised because of some of the things that the supermarkets tell us which are marketing crap. And I'll probably cover that in another video. So anyway, my point is, it's a message which brings me on to the definition for number two, which is linked. If you heed the message, it's a chance for rebirth. And I'm not gonna go all cookie sp spiritual on you, but I know, well, everybody knows, that rebirth is bloody messy and bloody painful. I don't know from um, personal experience, well, not full labour. Unfortunately, when you go through miscarriage, you do go through a mini one. Um, but for me, that only lasted three or four hours, um, as opposed to women who have to go through the full course, um, which might be 12 hours plus. So birth is messy, it's painful, um, 
it's complicated but it's also very simple and if I'm heeding the message that's been given to me then this is an opportunity and a chance for me for rebirth and whatever that looks like it's a chance for me to make some changes um, and reflect and be and decide what I'm going to do differently so that this doesn't come back and it doesn't impact me long term and I can get on and be the true Jenny um, full of life and gusto and passion and get to do the things that I'm supposed to do in life and that I really enjoy and that brings value to others. So that's the two bits. It's a message and it's a rebirth opportunity. And the third um, is very simple. It's the third, the third uh, definition for me is it's a journey. Um, and the journey is bloody Sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, the emoji with the brain, the head getting blown off. The journey for me has been gone from feeling fine and being in a really good place physically, training wise, health wise, maybe not at a cellular level if the cancer was starting already last year, but, um, I went from being in a really good place to being in a really bad place physically very quickly and had to adjust and move with the changes that happened to me really, really quickly. So, um, right, you need an x-ray, right, you need an, uh, the other scan, it's completely falling out of my head just now, CT scan. Oh, You've got a bowel obstruction, you need an operation in 12 hours. By the way, we think it's probably bowel cancer, but our biopsy will um, confirm it in six weeks. Um, 12 hours later, being operated on, having a stoma, having a new bum process, having to recover from having 40 odd staples uh, in my abdomen, I'm going through the linear progression of being out of hospital and trying to recover enough for that, for me to start a 12 week chemo program with four cycles and then each cycle being extended because my blood cells can't cope. Um, you know, it's a journey and it's had some absolute bottom, hardest things I've ever needed to do, dark places, emotions, crying, happy being proud of my progress um and making i'm not making but through some of these videos people laughing and maybe having the odd tear now and again when um it's been really difficult for me so that's the third bit it's a journey and um it will continue up to a point and then you know i'll start the next journey um of my life hopefully once this is finished and I can get sign off that, it's, that all, the, all the cancer cells have gone and I'll have some maintenance for a couple of years just to keep an eye on it and make, keep an eye on it and make sure it's, it never comes back. So that was what I wanted to share. Cancer isn't a battle from, from here consciously it is at a cellular micro level but as a person who can make choices and decisions it's not a battle it's a message it's an opportunity for rebirth and it's a journey and i felt it was really important for me to share that with you um so and just to say thank you for coming along on my journey so far um i really appreciate it the videos are helping me but i know they've given people a little bit of a giggle with some of my stoma stories um but also showing you how an individual who's going through something that i never chose to go through 
is handling it and trying to be proactive and smart without forcing it and going in fifth or sixth gear because you just can't you you can't fight it like that your body would give in so thank you for joining me um and i hope it's given you some food for thought um about the future and how people with cancer i'm not saying it you know i'm an individual this is my views um but it might help you understand a little bit about what cancer patients are going through and how it feels um and that's it so yeah have a great it's sun it's sunday today so a great day for reflection um you might not be watching this on a sunday but i hope it gives you food for thought and i'll talk to you next week